Good morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today, as we continue our Lenten journey, I'm going to offer up a prayer about values. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we give thanks that you created us for a life of loving relationship with you and each other. Forgive us when we are plagued with feelings of shame and find ourselves feeling unworthy, insecure, or inferior. We pray that you will help us instill good values in our lives. Forgive us, forgive us for running to isolation, addiction, and destructive actions when we feel ashamed rather than calling on you, family, friends, and others for help. Help us to focus our thoughts on truth and not react to misplaced feelings. Help us to understand what has real value in our lives. When we feel like running or isolating, please strengthen us to remain where we are and seek out healthy people who value us and our relationship with them. We are forever ever grateful that you care for us. Friends, as we pray this morning, I invite you to think about what has real value in your lives. I also invite you to think about what you value in others. Lord, as we continue in prayer, we pray for others. Also, help us to know our own value in the world. Lord, restore us all to new life as we put our trust in you. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the 51st chapter, or the 51st Psalm, more accurately. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Again, you, you alone have I sinned. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day and be safe.